this is when you start to see the fruits of your labor, right? Because the first step is predictability and practice. I just need to do it over and over again, right? Then at first when I'm doing it, maybe the first week I'm meditating for three minutes every day, maybe I see a difference in my mental well-being. Maybe I don't, right? It, it takes time. But when it, it takes time to, to see the fruits of your labor, it could be a day, it could be a week, it could be a month, it could be even longer, right? But over after a certain amount of time, depending on what the goal is, you're going to start to see some what, what I like to call proficiency. That's the first step. So proficiency is like, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. It's not that hard for me to continue to do this practice, meaning we, we were starting to get successful in making it a habit, right? Because a habit is, uh, and if any, any of you have read the book Atomic Habits, I highly recommend it. A habit is something we don't have to think about, right? So when you're trying to form a habit, which is here in the middle, psychological, or well, actually it's all three of these things, right? It's having that cue, it's translating from the want to do it to actually doing it. That's the psychological, the, the, the behavioral, and the predictability and practice is doing it over and over and over again. At first, it's, it's formation of a habit. And when you're forming a habit, sometimes, <laughs> this is me and probably some of you at some point too, it's like you have this thought, you get the reminder, hey, it's 2.30 in the afternoon, it's time to meditate. Uh, I gotta meditate again. It's a chore, right? Sometimes it's a chore. Sometimes it's not a chore. Sometimes you're like, I'm excited to do it. But if you're doing it every day, sometimes it's going to feel like a chore, right? And you have to do a mental lift. After a while, if you keep at it going over and over and over again, it becomes so habitual that it doesn't feel like a chore. You're just doing it. And when you do that, you start to become proficient in the practice, meditation, for example, right? And then after a time, if you continue to do it, and you most likely will once you pass that stage, you get that proficiency. Now we're getting into the, the phase of expertise, maybe even mastery, right? Maybe that takes years for different goals, whatever, right? But you get past just proficiency. Now you're starting to see a lot of fruits of your labor. Now you really have that compelling why. Somebody put that in the chat that I saw, right? Now you really get, you, you're aligned with this purpose of this goal that you're reaching. And there's no question of whether or not this is a good thing for me to do. It's there, it's integrated authentically into my being of this is something that I do. It's a part of my identity. 